Have you wrote to Santa? No, oh, he has, but Santa's explained that money's a bit tight this year, so he's not expect too much. Sure, Santa has plenty of surplus, if you talk to the people in the know. Oh, your health is all you need for a Christmas present. Well, you've the right one to keep you cheerful here, haven't you, Pop? You tell your mammy to stop her cheek, or I'm not taking you to the show. What show is that? I don't know. I think there's Christmas carols in it, though. Oh, that's me waterworks. Oh. And you, behave yourself. Don't be annoying your Pop. Don't be asking for any Christmas presents. He's no money either. Tax man's got it like ours. Oh, don't worry. Your mommy will persuade Santa to bring some presents. Huck, don't think so, Pop. I always know when there's no money. Hello? It's the rent man. I'll get him, Mom. Shut your mouth. Is your mom in there, wee man? Nobody's here. That puts me in mind of a great wee system we had in the old days for paying the rent. The rent man would come round and collect the money for every house in the whole street. And once he had done, and all the rent books were marked up to date, one of the boys would hold him up at gunpoint in the back <laughs> entry and take all the money back off him. And then he'd hand it straight back to all the residents in the street with a little commission for the service. Yeah, it was a very effective system. And the rent man was so good about it in the end that eventually they cut him in for a wee bit too and everybody was happy. Except the council, I suppose. His work's giving my dad a house in England now if he wants one. It's got a garden and everything and two toilets and they're both inside the house. There's nothing wrong with an outside toilet except on an aeroplane. <laughs> My ma says if we went across the water, they wouldn't understand the way we talk. That shouldn't be a problem, son. I've been married to your granny for 50 years. I've never understood a word you said. And if they can't understand you, then they're not listening. And that's their problem. You know, when I was in Leicester, they said the same thing about me, you know? So I put on a different bloody accent every day just to annoy them. They never knew who it was, but I did. And that's the only one who needs to know. You know who you are, don't you? Yes, Pop. Your buddy from Belfast 15. Where everybody knows you. And your Pop looks out for you. And your Mommy looks out for you. Your Daddy looks out for you. Your Granny looks out for you. Your brother looks out for you. And the whole family looks out for you. And wherever you go, and whatever you become, that'll always be the truth. And that thought will keep you safe. It'll keep you happy. You remember that for me? Yes, Pop. Aye, fine man you are. Now, forget about what your father and your mother want. What do you want? I want you and my granny to come too. tonight to warn you that you have yet a chance and hope of escaping my fate. Who wears chains that says? Granny, you're not allowed to talk to the theater. It makes one heck of a necklace. You are always a good friend to me. Thank you. You will be haunted. Is this the chance and hope you mentioned, Jacob? I think I'd rather not. Oh, I'm bloody well sure you wouldn't. When will Pop get out of the hospital? When the doctors say his lungs are fine. When Pop went to England to be a coal miner, did you go with him? Did you want to? Neither do I. 
Has your father said what he's doing? He says it has to get decided by Christmas. When's he going back? At the weekend. We're going to the pictures. He's taking us to Titty Titty Bang Bang. What in the name of God is that? It's a flying car. Oh, God, I've heard it all. It goes over a cliff and you nearly fall out of your seat. Do you want to come? It'll be company for you till my pop's home. If God had wanted me to see flying cars, I'd have been born with blinking wings. You love your films, don't you? I was a great one for the pictures when I was your age. I used to think you could climb right inside the screen and visit all those strange places you saw. <laughs> like that one in that film, what was that? Uh, uh, Lost Horizons. Do you ever see that? No. What was the name of the place, Granny? Shangri-La. That's what they called it. Did you ever go there? There were no roads to Shangri-La from our part of Belfast. So will you go one day?